It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they know that we're on Sunday. before the one we uploaded today. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So before the one we uploaded today, today I realized. Is yeah. I realize that I look like I'm like a meth addict because I'm freaking and twitching all the time. I look like I'm freaking just constantly needing to do something, which I do. I constantly need to do fucking shit. And but like you're over here standing perfectly still, and then you look at me, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know if that's actually how it is, but if you say so, I haven't noticed. Did you not watch that last time? Like I'm over here tapping away, I haven't and noticed. you're standing still for the most part. Like yeah, blah blah. Well, blah, I've blah, had blah, theater blah, training. Blah, 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 blah. And like, you're like, I've trained in theater, so I understand, like, look at the person talking and this and that because it helps, that. it helps the audience. I went to focus. college for that. Because even if the audience looks at me and they see that I my attention's on you, it naturally draws the eye to you. Yeah, but I. So. Again, I went to college for that. So you'd think I'd be better at this, but I'm just too fidgety as a person. Okay. Like, I don't understand it, but go ahead. Second. Uh, no, before the segment. I looked up the definition for several things so to try and determine what I am, and I really don't know. So, a psychopath, a person suffering from chronic mental disorder with abnormal or violent social behavior. <laughs> yeah. The informal use, an unstable and aggressive person, right? We're not of those. Okay, I'm assuming I'm not that, but that's a uh, psychopath. Then we have sociopath. Sociopath, a person with a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes and behavior and a lack of conscience. I've been claimed that way too many times, so I don't know. Like, I've never claimed that as myself, but I've been given that, like, as a definition towards me by many people. I'm not that antisocial. So I'm, I'm not that not antisocial me. either, but people are like, you are, you know, James. I'm like, no, I'm a social, antisocial butterfly. Okay, so psychotic. <laughs> Now we're on psychotic. Relating to denoting or suffering from a psychosis, right? Uh, noun, a person suffering from psychosis. Okay. So psychosis. So then we go into psychosis. So psychosis. Psychosis, a severe mental disorder. So severe. A severe mental disorder in which thought and emotions are so impaired that contact is lost with external reality. I don't know. That might be me. Eternal reality sucks. Yeah, but you were fully aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maybe I don't have a mental disorder. But I will say my biological mother was a sociopath. Narcissist. You're a narcissist. That's what you are. Narcissist. I got to look that one up real quick. Hold on. But no, 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 no. Get to the freaking uh, the, the segment. I don't have any more stories. I'm not that interesting of a person. Well, I know. I'm, don't worry. We're getting into it. Nar narcissist? Nar. Nar. Narcissist. Okay, here we like go. Like a narwhal. Nar. A person who has an extensive... Uh, sorry. Narcissist. Noun. A person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of himself. That's me. <laughs> That's me. I love myself. Yeah, you do. Dude, yeah. You know, which doesn't make sense because, like, when I was growing up and I was trying to get a date and I could never get a date... And then women started telling me it's, you know, like, you're not confident enough, right? So I was like, oh, okay, I'll start being more so confident. Yeah. I'll start being, and then they were like, uh, yeah, you're too prideful. So what? what's the middle ground? The middle ground is be confident without being a prick. <laughs> How do you do that? I guess I am a narcissist. I think I pick up chicks a lot. And I can talk to almost any chick and it doesn't matter. Like, if you see me, I don't look that attractive all the time. Right? Neither do I. So, like, what you need to do. <laughs> but I am sexy. He is sexy. And like, ladies, that's a sexy man. But what you need to do is just be, I appreciate that. be, be less of a prick. I don't even know what else to say. Like, if you're going to be a prick, make it flow. This, all right? If you're going to be a prick, make it feel genuine. Like, it's like, oh, this guy's a prick. But hey, he's a sexy guy. And he actually does care. He's just an asshole. Right? I do. I, I care. Yeah, but so, you, don't, you don't make it show. So forget all this that we're talking about. Uh... This is a new segment that I'm going to try to make reoccurring. I was say, when are we going to start making it? A, uh... We're going to try and make it reoccurring. I am at least, because okay. it's kind of my segment. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can definitely do it if you'd like, and I'm, I'd I'm, love to hear your feedback. I want to hear what this is as I'm going first. on. But uh, 
this is something I've wanted to do for years, and that's why we're really backtracking. Okay. We're backtracking so much that we're going back to. Uh, hold on, let me look when this song I'm came out. Adam Bloody Frogs and this clouds and shit to that. Hold on, I'll tell you what year we're backtracking to. 2031. Oh wait, that's that's future. Um, 2012. Let's see if you're right. We are backtracking to. 2011. Oh, you were a year early. All right, so we're back backtracking to 2011, You're which late. is when I came up with the idea for this segment, and I'm finally glad that we have some sort of a platform to do it. This yeah. platform is this platform, right? So right. This platform. The variety show. Yeah. Do you just flip off the audience? <laughs> this platform. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But okay, so this is this is uh, I don't know what to call it. Okay. But we're going to read rap songs. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the lyrics to a rap song, and then and and specifically like. Okay, so the overall segment is I'm going to read. Are the you gonna lyrics. read them to women? You should read them as if they're not actual rap songs. No, no, no. I'm gonna read this rap song. But like, yeah, let's take it. Who cares that it's a rap song? Because we're not gonna listen to any music. Yeah, There's no. not gonna be any flow. I'm going to read a rap song, and then I'm gonna break down. And overanalyze it. You don't have to. I'm going to say overanalyze, no, but okay. I'm going to analyze. Analyze, yeah. I'm going to analyze. You don't even have to over because most of them are very derogative. Yeah, yeah. But so uh, we're going to start in 2011. Okay. Uh, are you familiar with the rapper Two Chains? Two Chains. Yeah. Okay. Right. Two Chains. He released a song called "Spend It." Spend it. Spend it. Is the name of the song spend it spend it referring to i have money and i'm spending the money right throw that money around so it's called spend it right. and we're going to start with the hook which is i'm riding around i'm oh, i'm sorry <clears throat> i'm riding round and i'm getting it i'm riding round and i'm getting it so that's referring to uh you know, moving to the neighborhood, moving yeah, to the world, moving driving. to the country, yeah, you know, even yeah. if it's not driving, but like, yeah, riding because driving, but like, so he's, he's earning money. He's earning income that he's, he's earning income and he's spending the income, right? Well, is he earning income? Because it sounds like he already earned the income and now he's just driving around. Well, no, he specifically says I'm getting it. Oh, he's getting it. Okay. okay. Right. And the only reason I'm assuming that it's income is because as we go to, because he says that one, two, three, four times in a row. Jesus. I'm riding around. I'm riding. R i d i n apostrophe. Yeah, I'm so riding. not riding. I'm riding. Right in, yeah. but not riding like the god of lightning. Oh, not no, riding. I'm pretty sure that's only Mortal Kombat god. No, yes. no, it's a, it's an actual thing. Do you want me to look god? it up real quick? No, that's no, right. I that's didn't right. include that in the segment. No, but that's, I'm right. Right. I that's an actual god. That's fantastic. Riding. Yeah. Yes, riding the god of lightning. Uh, riding around, I'm getting it, and he says that several times because. He then goes to say, I'm riding around, I'm getting it, it's mine, I spend it. So, material goods, wealth, he earned it himself by riding around and he is he is, he is spending it. Yeah, so, right? okay. so he's riding around, getting it. It's mine, I spend it, it's, it's mine, I spend it. it, it's mine, I spend it, I'm riding around, I'm getting it. Oh my god, this it's is mine, so I spend terrible. It. It's mine, I spend it, it's mine, I spend it, I'm riding around, I'm getting it. Okay, so now we're getting That was the hook, stuff. yeah? I see. Yeah, that was the hook. Okay. So here we are in the interlude. Wait, we haven't had a verse yet? No, we haven't had a verse yet. Okay. I am smoking on exotic. We're going to stop there. That's halfway through the first line. I'm smoking on exotic. 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 First definition. Introduced from another country. Okay. Not native to the place where found. Okay. Yeah, that can fit weed. Exotic plant. Exactly. Weed is not naturally introduced to America. It's it's from Iraq, Jamaica, and uh, a couple other places that I could look up, but I'm not going to do that right now. Yeah, but so it's a, I'm assuming so an riding, exotic plant. He's riding around. He's getting it. You know, or smoking. Or he's riding around. Smoking on exotic. Smoking so it has exotic. to be plant. So I'm assuming that it's marijuana. Yeah. He's saying he's smoking marijuana. He's been hitting it. Otherwise, you have the second definition, which is archaic, foreign slash alien. Third definition, strikingly, excitingly, or mysteriously different or unusual 
exotic flavors. But I think exotic also refers to, in that sense, the third one would refer to, like, no offense to women, but generally rappers, when they say something like that, it, well, not the smoking part, but when strikingly they're talking about exotic, they're talking about different. Yes, yeah, an exotic woman. Ooh, strikingly, excitingly, mysteriously different. Is that, is that, yes. is that insulting? I would say not. Because, like, hey, she's exotic. But who she's, she's interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. But right, so but exotic. Yeah. So he's smoking on exotic, which I'm assuming is a non-native plant. So marijuana. So he's smoking on exotic. So let's go back the, to the second half of that same sentence. Yeah. I'm smoking on exotic. My girl ain't got no stomach. That's a big deal. That's actually a really big problem. <laughs> My girl ain't got no stomach. So, in in stomach cancer, when stomach cancer comes into play, to treat stomach cancer, I'm I'm looking at the actual to treat stomach cancer, a surgeon may perform a partial gas gastriomic, uh, a partial gastriomic, gastr gastrectomy. Sorry, I have no clue. <clears throat> may perform like a partial gastro gastrectomy. To treat stomach cancer, a surgeon may perform a partial gastrectomy. This produce, this procedure removes part of the stomach. Doctors typically remove lymph nodes and fatty tissue as well as to help ensure all the cancer is gone. Uh, a total gas, w w that's that's a, a partial okay. uh, gastrectomy. A total gastrectomy, doctors remove the entire stomach. So she's surrounding a, lymph nodes and fatty tissue. So she's had an so entire. So she has no stomach. She has no so stomach. she's suffering from a stomach cancer that was so bad they had to remove her entire stomach. Oh my God, got no That's stomach. a really big deal. Okay, so she she has no stomach. So he's going through a lot, I would assume. Well, like, the, the fact question. that like, cause she's going through a lot, and it's his girl. Yeah, what's that like? like, like it's, 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 well, it's, it's, he's it's, smoking on weed. Yeah. Like, but his girl hasn't got a stomach. Me. So I'm assuming he's smoking the weed in order to try and deal. Like, but he's like, trying to cope. Like, he's trying to have a coping let's mechanism. Also, let's, let's also bring it this way, then. All right? Let's say that's not what he means. What would he mean that his girl has no stomach? Like, if he's I don't not, know, no, if he is not talking about the fact that she just got if her she doesn't have a stomach, stomach removed. If she doesn't have a stomach, the only thing it could be is that a surgeon had to remove it for the sake of cancer. What else would I have no stomach? She has no stomach. Yeah, that's right, I figured that out. Because, like, that's the whole thing, right? It's like, okay, the idea of this is that you're like, I'm going to read it and break it down, right? So we're reading it, we're breaking this down based yes. off of, like, what it's saying. Yes. So, but then we also should look at it from the point of the rapper, right? So, like, let's figure out what he's saying. So clearly he's talking you broke about it down her that way. stomach you broke it, But you broke it that way, which rappers always use things as, like, similes and metaphors and whatever or not. But I'm going to go ahead and remove that tab so I can keep moving forward. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to figure out what that no stomach means, because that's insane. Like, if it doesn't mean she literally has no stomach, I'm trying to figure that out. He says, I am smoking on exotic, which would be marijuana in this situation. Yeah. My girl ain't got no stomach, so she's had a full gastronomic removal. <laughs> a total gastronomic. So her stu <laughs> she does not have a stomach. She's just walking around, like, how is she eating? That's a good question. <laughs> like, how is she like, a living human being right now? Like, after what, 45 days or something like that? Like, she's how dead. She's dead. Does someone without. Does that have a, like a pipe a that like sends it all the way down to your intestines and so it's like, eat. feel like you're eating? Well, no, that wouldn't make any sense, right? Because, like, you would be lacking the actual nutrients and everything else. Life without a stomach. Here's a Fox Chase Cancer Center. It's possible to live without a stomach. Okay. You will need to eat smaller amounts of food more often. So you couldn't have a big meal. Yeah, I guess so. Here, we'll go into this. This is a 2017. Uh, this is from foxchase.org. I don't know what that is. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, yeah, exactly. Treatment, number one, uh, a new rule. After surgery, the way you eat and digest food will change because you don't have a stomach, obviously. Uh, and it's important that you carefully follow your doctor's recommendations for eating to ensure your body is absorbing much needed nutrition. This is in quotes here. It is important to try to consume as many calories as possible to minimize rapid weight loss in the first few months following surgery and to take in nutri nutrients that the body needs to aid in the healing process. Okay, that's the quote. So the healing process, like my stomach is going to go back. 
How does that work? Eventually, the desire to eat and enjoy food will return, even without a stomach. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. well, I assume the stomach is not what you, drives you to eat food and actually enjoy it. That is a brain thing, right? Like eating. How much should you eat? Question mark. Without your stomach, you aren't able to handle regular portions of food and may not even feel hungry. Even if you are not hungry, it is important to remember that nutrition is a valid part of your health. You will need to eat smaller amounts of food more often, six to eight small meals a day, which is what is recommended generally anyway. Small meals, yeah. Six to eight small meals. Uh, your doctor or nutritionalist, nutritionist, nutritionist may also recommend that you stay upright for some time after eating. So you have to stay upright <laughs> after standing? you eat. Yeah. Or perfectly posture. Yeah, you're perfect sitting. posture after you eat. Your healthcare team can help you adjust your diet if you are having problems eating. Some patients may experience a condition called dumping syndrome. <laughs> you want a beer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, please do. So, some patients may experience a condition called dumping syndrome. When part or all of the stomach is removed, the food that is swallowed quickly passes into the intestine, leading to problems with nausea, diarrhea, sweating, and flushing after eating. There are treatments to help with this, these symptoms. This is in quotes as well. Since the stomach is no longer there to do the grinding and breakdown of food, it is important that patients take small bites and thoroughly chew their food. Okay, so you, you can eat without a stomach. Okay, so you can, you literally just it goes straight into the intestine. So you can eat without a stomach. It goes straight into the intestines. You just need to make sure that you have small portions, small bites of your small portions, and thoroughly chew it so that it can pass through your intestines. Okay. So, that's the first line of the interlude. Second line. Every time we have sex, she always asks me for a hundred. That sounds like prostitution. So, I'm going to go ahead and say it again yeah. since it's here. I'll, I'll repeat. I, I thought you were going to take longer. Um, so you can eat without a stomach. Okay. Yes. You just have to be sure that you eat small bites and thoroughly chew. Because it's going to move straight into the intestine. How much time are you supposed to chew? Like 30 sometimes? Uh, times don't, don't, don't ask me. Do you want me to look it up? No. Because that's kind of part of what this is. Nah. But, okay. So you just have to have small bites of small portions. And thoroughly chew it because it's going to move straight to your intestines. Okay. So, right. like, without your stomach, your stomach breaks down your So, food. what? Do they, they connect to like a little tube that goes straight to your intestines at that point? I don't know how to look that up. I don't know what to ask. All right. It doesn't matter. Let's move on. Because at this point, yeah, I'm sure you've clarified basically what we need to know. Uh, how at least the minimum. It. Yeah. I've got the minimum. How a person without a stomach would need to uh, continue right. living their you life. You can continue living without a stomach. Which she has none. But I'm assuming it's very stressful for him. For two chains. Hence the fact he's smoking exotic. Yeah, but he's right? smoking exotic just because he wants to. Well, let me go ahead and this is a... Uh, this isn't intent... Like, I'm not going to do this right now. But he has another song where he talks about, like, he wakes up. He drinks. He goes Wake to bed. Up, he drink. drinks. Sit down. Drink. Stand up. Drink. drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And I'm assuming the reason he's having to drink so much is he's trying to cope with the fact that his woman. So he's destroying his liver. Yes. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Which I'm assuming the only reason he's doing all that is because he's having a really hard time coping with the fact that she doesn't have a stomach anymore. There's a lot to go into that. Okay. There's a lot. But so apparently the same woman, because he said his girl doesn't have a stomach. Yeah. And then in the next line, totally, 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 this will be after the video. Oh, okay. So the first line, which is what we've been breaking down for the last couple minutes, uh, was I'm smoking on exotic weed. My girl ain't got no stomach, so she's had stomach cancer and they removed it. Yeah. Every time we have sex, she always asks me for a hundred. Which sounds like prostitution, but yeah. it could also be something where it's like, I really like her. Uh, she's going through all these troubles, and every time we have sex, it really affects her body. Okay. Right? Like, it could be a really big deal to go through sexual acts whenever you don't have a stomach to where it's like, look, I need $100 because I got to go back to the doctor or something. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. How often do they have sex in a week, though? That's the real question. 
I don't know. Because the next thing, I, I don't know. But uh, so I'm, I'm the only thing I can think of is prostitution. But why would you hire a prostitute that doesn't have a stomach? <laughs> but also, also, why would you hire a prostitute that's only a hundred dollar prostitute? Well, that's a real good question. Because if you're gonna get a prostitute, get a five thousand dollar prostitute. Exactly. Save up your money every time you're like, oh, I really want to have sex. Set aside a hundred dollars. When you get to five thousand, go get yourself a good prostitute. Get her done. Get a good prostitute. Make it worth it. Yeah, no. Make definitely. it worth the evening. Like, exactly. Why would she have no stomach if she's a five thousand dollar prostitute? I feel like she's going through some she would have a stomach surgeries and yes. shit like that. Right. Like, all right. Like a hundred dollar prostitute. Yeah. Okay. Of course she doesn't have a hundred. <laughs> she doesn't have a stomach. But he says this is my girl. But anyway, so then I asked her. So she asked for a hundred every time they have sex. Yeah. So I asked her, as in two chains. Okay. Two chains asks her if she's worth it. And then, and then when it, this is totally inappropriate because you're not supposed to ask, you're not supposed to answer a question with a question. So totally inappropriate because she responds by asking him, do I want it? Wait, are you sure she's responding that way? Yes, it says, I asked her if she's worth it. She asked me, do I want it? So she responds to a question with a question asking, do you want to have sex with me? Are you worth it? Do you want Oh, that's a good question, though, honestly. Honestly, it's a good question. Because, like, excuse me, holy crap. Do you want it? Or am I, are you Which I'm it? assuming it is pussy. Yeah. My, specifically my no stomach pussy. <laughs> are you, God, God. All right, so are you, are you worth it? And then you would respond, like, do you want it? It's like, so then the real question is she like, responds yeah do you want it yeah, are you so, worth it do you want it so the real question is like how desperate is he right yeah how desperate are you you're right do yeah. you want it do you want it hmm. and he's saying he's really famous and everything but apparently this girl with no stomach is the, <laughs> so she must be gorgeous dude she must be baby yeah she must be if she's down. not if she's not gorgeous she must be amazing with her. everything like she does, in bed yeah she's yeah. gotta be amazing yeah something like oh like, my mm. gosh Dude, because the guy, the guy, I haven't looked it up yet, but I was going to look up his net worth, but I know he's worth a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, no, there's there's a few rappers that I looked up net worth-wise that are, like, actually worth a damn. I don't know if he's really worth a damn. He's up there. He's he up really there, is. but, like... He really is. He's up there. I mean, compared to the average person. I don't know if I'm going to sell myself, my body, and all of that. Like, I would sell myself to someone like Lil Wayne or Eminem, all right? Like, and I, Eminem is amazing, but I would listen to his music before I ever fucking... Okay. Lil Wayne, money-wise... Do it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Little Wayne's a very talented person and well educated. I mean, he's young. He's actually younger than I thought he was. He's like oh, I didn't years old. Wow, he is really. He started young. off in 1992. He was when he started off. We were born, or you were just you were born. I was, and I was just born. And I like, was like, you know, who knows? Somewhere in a year. Yeah, but like, he was young when that happened. Like, young as freaking crap. And I was like, whoa. I learned that this year actually. I thought he was 50 years old. I thought he was somewhere in his age. So. As we're going on, we're still in the first interlude. Oh my god. We're on the third sentence, which was I asked her if she won if she's worth it. She asked me if Oh, I'm sorry. It. Not she's. I asked her if she worth it. She asked me, do I want it? Which we went into that. Yeah. And then it says then the, the fourth line is I say so there's still two chain two chains is talking here. I say when I went to school, female dog, because I'm censoring myself here. Okay. Female dog Money was the subject. So, this man. When he went to school, money was the subject. You know, every time I went to school, I never remember money being an actual subject, except for in math, and they only used it to be like, this is how you count. He's been to either Harvard Business School, London Business School, Kelly School of Business, and whatever, Stanford Graduate School of Business, Robert H. Smith School of Business, Ross School of Business University, uh, Warden School of the University of wait, Business. Wait, wait. Can University we stop, of can I stop you right here? Yeah. How I mean, How long is this list? Oh, it's very long. I'm not gonna listen. Okay. I'm not gonna listen. Cool. Cool. But just, just the point being that if money was the subject, this man is really well educated. He went to a prestigious school, like an Ivy League school. Since considering the first three is, or the first four, let's go with the first four is Harvard, London, Kelly, which I, I actually don't. I'm not familiar with Kelly. Stanford. Yeah, really so Stanford and Harvard, right there. Those are Amer- those are the most like 
two of the most prestigious, not the most, but Princeton? two. Uh, right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Not the most, but like two of the most prestigious schools in America, and he's American. So I'm assuming he went to a local school, so he didn't go to London. But so either Harvard, or Harvard, or Stanford. He okay. went to so like this man's really well educated. I just really wanted to pour a beer on you. This man's really well educated. Um, because money was the subject. So I got, I got, I got. Well, we're back into the hook. Yeah, okay. You do what you do there. I'm back. Which the hook is, I'm riding round and I'm getting it. I'm riding round and I'm getting it. I'm riding round and I'm getting it. It's mine. I spend it. I'm riding round and I'm getting it. I'm riding round and I'm getting it. I'm riding round and I'm getting it. It's mine, I spend 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 it. I'm riding round and I'm getting it. It's mine, I spend it. It's mine, I spend it. It's mine, I spend it. I'm riding round and I'm getting it. So that's that's the uh, that's the hook. So second hook. And now we're finally at the first verse. So this is verse one. We're now at the first verse? Yes, this is the first verse. So, so, other... so okay, wait, wait a second. So, um, what I have here is that we have a pre-chorus, an interlude. Well, we had a hook, an interlude, and then the second hook. Hooks, right, right, right. Yeah. Still might as well be cool. Raps different. Yeah, yeah, the Raps hooks are the chorus. Yeah. yeah. So, hook, interlude, hook. Verse. We just now made it. We, we, we discussed a lot in that short period. Correct. Within the first interlude. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, verse one I'm riding round my side of town. Okay. You have anything to say to that? Because I mean, literally, that just, that just means that, that it's like sense. this is the side of town I'm from. Yeah, that makes sense. This is where I live. Uh, I don't necessarily know if he's gang affiliated. Or anything, because then that that does go into a whole deeper thing where it's like, this is my side of town, like, this is my area that I participate, you know, like, I defend this area and all that, you know, there's a lot more to it, but I'm not, I don't think he's gang affiliated. Yeah, no. Uh, But he does have boxing gloves, because the full verse is, I'm riding around my side of town, boxing gloves, I beat the trail. I honestly have no idea what that means. I, I wasn't able to really look. I gloves. wasn't sure. Uh, boxing gloves. Do I have anything about boxing gloves? What would, what would boxing gloves have to nope. do with anything? Nope. Okay, no, no idea. All right, boxing gloves, I beat the trail. I get that. Boxing gloves, so, so he, maybe he does participate in boxing. Like, so he's been trained no, beat officially. The, beat the trail means, like, something Beat more. the trail. The, yeah, because, like, boxing gloves, I beat the trail. Like, that, they would connect there. So what is the trail? That's the real question. Trail, uh, the path that he's followed. So therefore, that means he fought, he fought hard, right? Yeah. He oh, yeah. You're right. For his trail. He's fought right. hard on the road he's side on? of town. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, right. dude, we're so white, and we should, probably should not say this stuff. <laughs> but so to move forward from that, I had the Coke, which I'm assuming is Coca Cola because it's a delicious soda. <coughs> Everyone loves it. So he has, he's got some Coca Cola. I had a smile. So, because who doesn't, like, if you think about the, like, Coca-Cola commercials and stuff, who doesn't smile when they have a Coca-Cola in the commercials? I'm not talking about real life, obviously. In the advertisements, okay. people really like Coca-Cola. They smile when they have it. Uh, he also says, I had a coat of sure. every style. So this dude's got money. He's, so he's got he every style. The, he beat the trail. He has boxing gloves, beat the trail. Has it, has, has, has Coke? He's, he, he had the Coke. He had the Coke. So, so he, he doesn't have it, it anymore. Before. Yeah, 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 okay. He so finished drinking he his the Coke, Coca-Cola. But then he has every coat of every, or a coat of every size. Yeah. He doesn't have a smile anymore either. Because he had the Coke. He had a smile. Oh, and he had a coat of every size. So he doesn't have a, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have any of that. style anymore. I wonder okay. what happened. I, I'm assuming, because me, I'm going drug affiliation at this moment. 
Oh, what? Yeah, I'm going huh. straight. Oh, you're taking a different direction. Yeah, no, I'm, I would have I'm going straight drug affiliation. Okay, so what do you that mean? He went, he was like, okay, so I beat the trail, which means that the path that I'm on, I, I fucking rock. Yeah, I freaking, right. He earned it. I earned what he I earned got. It all right, with so boxing gloves. Yeah. So he he, he he fought his way he through. He fought his way. And he won. Right. Yes. And then like the Coke, I definitely don't think Coca Cola. Really? Yeah. No, because like, dude, I smile when I'm on Coke. So like, Coke. Yeah. Coke. You know, like the, 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 the white powder stuff. All right. So we're going drugs moment right now. All right. So white powder stuff. He takes it. He's like, I had it. I sold it. Goodie powder. Sure. We'll go with that. Three pounds. So he takes it. Did he get from the gas station? He sold it, though. He sold it. Because he had it. He doesn't have it anymore. Yeah, so he sold it. Okay. Got the coats. And then realized the coats weren't worth it anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like, then he got rid of the coats. Yeah. I don't know. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? That, that, that answered every question, right? But what? You said I had goody powder? He had the goody powder. He sold the goody powder. Got, and with the money that he made from the goody powder, he freaking... Went and bought some coats, and then yeah, but what's every type, every style of coat? Dude, so many, so many styles of coats. I used to buy coats just because I like coats, and but I don't buy coats to wear them. I just want to have them, you know. What's the different styles of coats? Name, name Dude, I don't freaking know. I'm not a coat connoisseur. All right, like, that's not my thing. I don't buy coats. That sounds retarded. But. I do feel like that means he went and had like a bunch of different styles of coats, and he was just like, "Yeah, coats. This is what I have." What are the different styles? I know pea coat. Uh, I know pea coat. What is, I know. I know summer jacket. What about North Face? What is, what is North Face. Style? Oh, that's a yeah. North Face. Well, that's a brand. I don't know yeah. what style. What style is it? Is. Uh, uh, prick coats. Summer or off, uh, fall coats. North Face isn't that prick coats. Prick coats. <laughs> I don't know every style of coat. Like, that's, but, that's too many. So, but he doesn't have them anymore. Yeah, he doesn't have them. Because he had a coat of every style. Oh, okay. So, so he probably was, still has a coat. So he's like, he, he probably still has several coats. <laughs> no, that's a coat of every color. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Not of every style. <laughs> but so he had, a, he had a coat of every style, but he's at least gotten rid of one. At least gotten rid of one. At least one. one. Yeah. At least one, and so I no longer have coats of every style. But he has coats. He has coats. He has plenty of coats. Yeah. But okay, so we're only uh, we're, we're only, only a quarter two, of the way through, guys. We're only two <laughs> verses or two sentences into the first verse. Oh. The next is <clears throat> crocodile, the gator type. That doesn't make sense. That's not how that works. Crocodiles aren't gators. Gators aren't crocodiles. They're two totally different species of animals, by the way, guys. The way reptiles work is that you don't look at one reptile and think exactly like if you see every if you see a lizard, it's not the same type of lizard every time you see a lizard. Right. So like right. a Thank crocodile you. is not an alligator. Because I didn't actually look don't. further into this, but I was aware as well that like crocodile the 